Hello friends, hope you are doing good. So in this video, I will show you how to DIY a female three pin connector. So it will basically works as a quick connector and could be used as a cable extender. So I guess you are aware with two pin male female connector, which you might have used sometimes in your life, maybe uh, like during some occasion or during some requirement. Uh, you might be using it as a cable extender. So that is pretty compact. Uh, well, I know that. So uh, it, it looks something like this. However, in the case of three pin male female connector, we are getting compact size male connector, which is also known as three pin plug. However, in case of female three pin connector, we are getting a bigger size box. It is a bulky box on which they are fixing a three pin socket and you need to use that. So that is not a compact. So, well, I will, I, I, I don't prefer that. So that's why I'm creating or I am, I am making my own compact three pin female connector. And guys, there is one more thing. After searching a lot on internet, I found this. And you can see this three meter of cable cost is too high. Definitely, I will not purchase this. So they are not giving the uh, that connector. They are giving it with the cable and they are having the variant in cable length. So if you will select the longer cable length, the price will be increased drastically. So you can see here, this is the compact female connector, three pin female connector. So I tried to search it in market, even in the nearby shops or, or the main store, but I didn't found it. So I will create my own. Let's see how to do that. So guys, in this video, I'm having male three pin plug and I have taken three pin socket plug. So what I will do, I will convert or you can say I will modify this socket as a three pin connector. So as you could see, I have already opened up the three pin socket and now I am chopping off the wire so that I could connect that wire to the three pin socket. So I will just fast forward this to save the time. Okay, it's done and now I need to measure it like how much I need to keep. So basically it will be going like this and this wire will be fixed from this side. So uh, what I will do, I will just make a cut mark so that this wire can be inserted to that three pin socket. So I will remove these uh, terminals which is going inside the board these are of no use as of now and the center one as well so there is one screw inside it I will just remove it and I will fast forward this part to save the time okay so this wire will be going like this so that's why I am making a cut mark in the three pin socket i guess it is okay now so this wire will be going like this okay just let me put this cover and check it out so there is a little bit of more cut is required on the other part of the cover okay let me cut it off a little bit i guess now it's okay yep it is okay now the wire is getting inserted nicely into that socket so now i will connect these three wires to the three terminals so here i am just taking out the wire wire element and further i will connect it to the terminals of the three pin socket so 
currently I'm connecting it with the body earth terminal so this is the one which I am fixing so I have connected it with the screw and now time to connect the positive and negative terminal so here you can see again I am fixing those wire into the screw so I'm making this fast forward just to save the time because you know this uh, this was pretty time taking thing which I have done in like uh, more than 45 minutes because many things are not getting fixed properly inside it I need to uh, like cut the part internally the I need to make the proper positioning of the elements of that metallic things inside the socket and finally it is done okay so you can have a look on it so it is connected like this and you can see here it's a live wire ground wire and the body earth so i have connected the wire very tightly with the screws but anyway i will make a soldering for the same to make it more proper however this is a 16 ampere plug so anyway if it is getting hotter then this uh, soldering thing will not work but for this uh, to just to make it secure i am just making a soldering on it however it is not necessary if you are if you have tightened it up properly if you have uh, properly managed to tight it with the screw okay so i will solder all three terminals here it is a bit difficult but i need to do this to secure it so you can see it is done properly and just i am fixing the remaining uh, part of the three pin socket so it's done and now fixing the cover tightening the screw and it's done so everything is well intact and everything looks okay so let let me just check it with two plug yeah two pin plug is getting inserted properly and here the three pin plug will go like this but one thing is still remaining and the wire need to be connected to three pin plug so let's do that i will just make it fast forward because that is a simple connection whatever the uh, wire you have connected to that female connector you need to connect it in the same way i mean the color you need to match the color uh, of the wire to which terminal you have connected like body earth ground and the live wire so that you need to take care and rest everything will be same it's like tightening up the screw and uh, snipping off the wire that's it okay so you can see i have just fast forwarded it to save the time and just doing the simple thing what what you need to do you can just connect the wire in the same order as i have told you previously okay so here i need to take the measurement of the wire because inside a plug you can't keep extra wire because it will uh, not let you put the cover on the top so now all the wires are properly fixed with a particular size and fixing the cover 
okay it's done now you can see it is nicely done so we are having male female connector on a five meter long cable and this cable is 16 ampere cable means it can resist 16 ampere of current in it so uh, my plan is to use this for my refrigerator because the refrigerator cable is too short and the wall wall socket is far from that uh, uh, my refrigerator so that cable is not reaching the socket so this uh, will help as an extender cable so what i'm doing here i'm just connected my uh, i have just connected my soldering iron to this and i know those pins are live so you can just cut off and cut those pins uh, i will show you later what i am doing with that pins so you can see the uh, the soldering iron led is glowing so this is working fine what we have made so uh, it is working fine with the male and female connector so the female connector is still having the pins out on the other side but on this side you can connect the plug and use it out this time i need to be very careful because this is a live wire and the pins are open so this is my extension board i will just connect the i will just just to show you i have just brought it in the focus of camera and now you see i will connect it and yeah this is glowing now it means the five meter cable is working with male and female connector okay so this is working fine so now let's have a look on this pins on the female connector so what you can do with this pin you can just uh, cut it off this pin but in my case i will not do that so i am planning to use it in a multi-purpose way so this is the two male and female connector and this is the five meter long cable and this part what i will do i will just uh, i need to manage some cover on it if required i can use it in the wall socket i guess you have understand so that's why i'm not chopping off this uh, three pins from the female connector so i will just put a cover on it so just i got an idea to put a cover of the wire which i have just sniffed off uh, from the 16 ampere cable so here are the outer cover of that thick cable that 16 ampere cable and i will just put it on each pin just to make it secure and i can use it anytime by removing the cover uh, just taken the measurement and now chopping it off okay and you can see how perfectly it is getting fixed there so now that that part is secured and i can use it in future for any purpose for like multi-purpose use if uh, if if not i can use it in a different manner like female connector or male connector whatever i want i can use it in both manner so these cover i am putting it now just to secure uh, the female connector because whenever i will connect the power source this pins will be uh, floating outside so this will be dangerous so just to make it secure i am just putting the cover on it and this body earth pin is a bit thick anyway but uh, this wire is like mm, the wire outer cover is okay it is getting fixed in there also that's not a problem so it's done and now i need to put some tape on it to secure it in a better way okay so here is the electrical tape i'm just putting it around that wire cover and from the top i am just making it covered properly
and I will do the same with all the terminals, with all the pins. So it will be like a pen cap. You could remove it anytime and use it for another use. Maybe as in some emergency case you want to make it or use it as a mail connector. So why I am putting the tape in between there, there were two screw, uh, screws on that part, which is connected internally to the live and the ground wire. So that's why I have secured that part by putting the tape on it. So two screws are there inside that tape. So now it is completely secure. As you could see, the cover is there on the top of the pin. And now there is no any harm. So this is the five meter cable with female connector. So it cost me around like this cable is too costly. It is having the thick copper core inside it. So it cost me like cable cost me 200 rupees and uh, the, that male connector cost me 20 rupees and that female connector cost me um, again the 20 rupees, I guess. I don't remember it 20 or 30 rupees might be. So I made this in a very cheap manner. Just you just think if I am going to purchase that extension board, that bulky board that will also cost me some uh, 200 rupees and this cable will also cost me some uh, 200 rupees. So 400 uh, plus that that box will not come with anything so you need to purchase 16 ampere plug so that will cost a lot so the uh, so this is cost efficient also and uh, portable also you can see the compactness of this thing so what i'm doing i'm just securing the uh, outlet of the cable coming out from the female connector so I will just make it fast forward. Okay, so I'm trying to do it in a proper manner. It's, it should look uh, good as well. Okay, it's done. You can see all the things has been secured and now it's ready to be used. So time to check it now. So this is the plug which will go to the main socket. Now let's put it into the wall socket. So this is the refrigerator and right now it is in switched on mode. Just I have shown you. So this is the plug which belongs to refrigerator cable. And now I will take out that cable from the wall socket and use the extension cable what I have prepared. So you can see here, so this is the female part. I am connecting the refrigerator cable to that part. And now I will connect and everything is secured here. That's why I'm holding it in my hand and now connecting the main power plug. So time to turn on the switch. It's turned on now. And now let's check the refrigerator, whether it is working or not. So everything is connected. Everything looks good. So this is the main power plug connected to the wall socket and refrigerator three pin plug is connected to the female connector and you can see refrigerator is working properly. So everything is working fine and this is how you can create or DIY the male female three pin connector that's it in this video friends if you feel that this video is knowledgeable and it will help you in day-to-day -day life please do like this video share this video and subscribe my channel for the latest update and yes do press the bell icon to get a quick notification of my video bye bye see you in the next video